Hi guys, Tex Park here with another video review. This time we'll be looking at Dark on the Moon Leader Class Ironhide. Um, I've been waiting to get an Ironhide Leader Class figure for ages. I know this has been out for a while. I uh, picked it up in b and for £24.99 which is pretty cheap. Um, b and is like a discount store so... Yeah, there he is, Ironhide. He rolls, the plastic wheels and stuff. Really cool. Let's try this comparison he is Deluxe uh, Transformers Prime Deluxe uh, R.I.D. Cup Sergeant Cup and as you can see he's massive. That would probably fit, yeah, you know, fits on his back. Uh, and here's uh, the first leader Optimus Prime for the 2007 movie. So as you can see it's and not, it doesn't scale well, but it looks good together. So, yeah. He has a few gimmicks in this uh, mode. Smoke stacks at the back, you pull them, a gun appears. One gun appears on the side with a flap. And then the same on this side, he's got another gun. Which is more like the movie gun there. That's no idea what that gun is like. But you can run and shoot people. Push them back in, then it's fine. You get the back, you've got the Autobot symbol in, embossed in the back. Move there. He does have a lot of junk underneath, you can see. A lot of crap underneath. But still, there's a better fit than the, uh, the Void class I had, which I had it in black and I had it in like a grey colour. Um, you can see his robot head. Yeah, it's got electric in it, but it's no I haven't got any batteries for it, so... So, transform him. We're going to do is loosen everything up. Come in here, loosen the side pit panels up, like so. And this whole section here, this whole uh, front section lifts up, like that, goes to the back. Then you separate the arms. Matches on the wrong hinges here. Then you come here and lift up the bumper, which lifts up here, lifts it all up, and we'll have to get out of the way. Then turn the figure around, separate legs. So, and then the back panel here you want to just lift down. That's his feet. And they're back, pretty annoying. If, well, I'll get to it in a bit, and annoying in a bit. You stand the figure up. So, flip the feet around. And, and come like that so we can see what I'm doing. And then, these pieces you want to. Whoops. Folding the wheels and the wrong like ball joints, and these are really a pain in the ass. So, ball joint back in. So, you're supposed to like fold the wheel in on itself, and the chest pieces come down. Oh. The ball joints on here are really, really easy to pop out. You just have to think about popping it out, and it'll do it. And then there's like in the grill here you've got space that goes into this fake bit of the grill. The peg. And fold that piece down, do the same on this side. Without trying to pop in the pain ball joint. That's one of the annoying things about this figure is the ball joints are a pain in the ass. And again, bring it down. So you've got his chest. And then the arms you rotate it up and there's a like a peg hole there and a peg that you peg this into. And then swing the arm around and fold that panel fold this panel back and then back of his arms. Set on this side. Put the piece up, tap it into place. Put the 
I'll go around. And those joints there that's supposed to hold it in. So he's in like a squatting pose, and his legs don't really support him that well. As you can see, sorry guys, I'm just trying to find some. This is probably his camera on the video. Um, So you could tell him been his legs paused, bent like there he is. Head sculpt is it's okay. It's only on a swivel joint, you can't move anywhere else because he's got this gimmick that he moves his this is supposed to talk and it moves a mask if you can look. It's a pain in the ass. You can't really get much articulation in his head because of his shoulder pieces. Um the articulation he's got a swivel joint there, he can't bend his knee fully up, it's always like that. It's always been like that. His foot, he's got a swivel on his toes, move. Ratchet joints up here and there, but like I said, it's if you move it, it takes you ages to get it stand. Still, if you do it, it'll just topple over because he's got no heels at all. There's no heels for him at all. That I haven't seen. The gimmicks for this this PC, you fold it down and then do that and this. This gun, machine gun thing flies out, so it all those lights supposed to light up and it's supposed to spin. And like I said, it's a pain in the ass, but once you get it in the doing the splits, once you get him in the place, he does stand. Okay, ish. So it's going to stand. So it goes. Um, the guns that they deployed in vehicle mode, you kind of deploy them in here, just pull back the uh, exhaust pipes. And you've got his weapons. Uh, no, sorry guys, it's just very difficult for him to stand, he just won't stand because of his legs. Stay still. Right, there he is. Um, it's got some other gimmicks in as well. In this leg, here you fold this out. The piece of this leg, if you can't even see it. Grab here, pull it out, and it's got a little sword. Oh, not a sword, like a knife. Pulls out that you can hold in his hand. Like so. And the other arm, you pull this back. And it's like a gun on the missile, you fire. But because of that strut, it's very difficult to fire. Like this. Just fire. Like a missile. Fits in his leg. Um, yeah, and it folds right back in there again. You can't take it out, use it as his fist, but. Yeah, you could. that's iron hide. It's okay as it follows. If you want to get it, get it. But it's not one of those that you really want to get. You pro like I picked this up for twenty four ninety nine. You probably pick it up somewhere else cheaper. But you don't have to hold the sword. So you hold the sword. It's a knife, and you just put it back into here again. Which I think is pretty cool. That's probably why his legs are like that. Really bad. 
And look, it's hot, but there's loads of blue in his legs. And it's all dark and back up there, which is, excuse me, off putting. First comparisons in robot mode. Here's RID Transformers Prime bulkhead. Orange glass. So there it is. Together. Obviously, it's going to be bigger. And then here's Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Buster Optimus Prime. You see, it's a little tiny bit shorter than Prime. Um, yeah, it's not an alright figure, it's, it's a couple of things wrong with it, but how many Transformers got stuff wrong? It's not a worse thing, like these pegs up here don't hold in properly, the legs don't want to balance properly, the gimmicks on his arms are pretty cool, and pretty cool in vehicle mode as well. Um, he's got a lot of stuff hanging off his arms and his back. Nothing in the back pegs in together, it just sits there. It looked like his arms just popped out now. Um, but it's an okay video, I guess. If you like the Transformers Revenge of the Fall line or the movie lines, get it. Simple. I, get, I got it because I like Ironhide. So, there you go. This is a review for the Revenge of the Fallen Leader Cast Ironhide. This has been Tech. This is Tech Spark. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.